Mum, how I'm louder today for you. Yeah, everyone was complaining that I was way too soft, so um, I'll keep an eye out for it. As I run back to the Joga Orga Joga Ogres, <laughs> because that's what they're called. Today was um, an interesting day. I remember when talking with Maddie, he said he was reading something about something that happened in the UK. And being as early as it was, it really didn't click to me, you know, that it was a big thing going on. So when I got into work and, you know, I sort of, you know, one of the first things I do is check out the news and, and see what's going on. So you can imagine, to my horror, when um, I saw what actually happened to that, that poor guy in the UK, you know, the guy that, the army guy, was um, hacked to death, you know, not far from a school. And this just, I don't know, it makes my blood absolutely boil that in this day and age, um, you know, someone can die that horrifically on the streets, you know, and I was stunned sitting here watching the guy, one of the guys that had killed him talking to someone, you know, who was recording it, you know, just sort of matter of fact, sorry that you had to see that, um, you know, all our women see that, and I just sort of was absolutely blown away by it you know and and I heard a lot of things today you know, a lot of people saying stuff about race and everything else and you know I'm not even going to go there because that's just to me that's just bullshit blaming it on a race um, you know I'm just absolutely stunned that two people would just do that to a human being it it really blew my mind um, and really blew my mind that nobody helped this person. It was like broad daylight, you know, and I know people are going to say, oh, what would you do in that situation? Do you know what? Um, you know, I, I have a, a thing about <laughs> getting a good life and, and living it, but this person has put his life on the line to protect, you know, protect people in war and in, in horrible situations. And he died where he should be safe. He died in the country, you know, that he has served to protect. And this is not having a go at UK people, but I think this is just people in general, you know. Again, if it was me, I don't care. I would die trying to save him, um, you know, because, I don't know, maybe that's just my makeup. I, I just could not stand there and watch. I'm just absolutely stunned. And I feel sorry for the family, you know, just horrific loss. And it seems, you know, there's a lot of this going on. We've recently had a girl um, that was killed um, in um, Queensland, where I live. And, um, you know, it's just, she was, she was um, abused before she was killed sexually. So obviously someone had um, raped her or had done things that they shouldn't have done. And again, you know, you just think, who has the right to take these people's lives? You know, nobody has the right to, you know, torture, hurt, rape. Um, Nobody has the right to do any of that. And I really wish the world would wake up to this and people would stop. I don't know. I just don't understand why the violence. I really don't. So I suppose that's my view today. I know it's probably a little bit of a icky update, but I just, you know, from what I saw today with this poor soldier, I think it's, you know, it's only right to to share my thoughts and feelings and, you know, hope that other people feel the same way. You know, because if we don't start the change, the world will never change. 
and you know I don't know just wish there wasn't senseless loss like that anyhow I'm still here still killing these things um, yeah and not getting anywhere with them so sorry all if if people go oh my god that that was um, a really in-depth conversation or ew I don't like that subject um, that's the beauty I suppose of my updates is I get to talk about what I want um, if anyone by the way if anyone is stupid enough to write a, a racial or a hate comment on on this about you know people um, you know it's not going to be shown so don't even bother I hate racism it's one of my pet hates in life so you know if you've got a racist view about the people about people then yeah don't be putting it on to my page I'm not interested really anyhow this is Chrissy May and um, I'll catch you all later bye all